Welcome to this tutorial to learn about how network analysis software can be useful for you as a marine biologist. First off, what is a network analysis? A network analysis in the broadest sense means breaking a complex topic or structure down into its subparts and looking at the relationships and linkages between them. So network analysis is also a set of techniques to display linkages and relationships between discrete objects. Relevant biological networks could, for example, be linkages between genes similar to a haplotype network, gene flow or exchange between different populations or the spread of disease. However, in the field of marine social science, they can be used to map the social structures within communities, linkages between stakeholders, or the spread of ideas for resilience to climate change, for example. Network analysis can also be used to combine both the social and ecological aspects of a conservation problem by, for example, linking social actors with ecological structures. So, network analysis can be used as a form of initial data exploration and visualization to understand the structure and relationships within your data, or as a form of analysis to, for example, determine the degree of connectedness between parameters. There are two elements in a network structure, which are nodes and edges. Nodes are discrete objects such as individual actors, people, animals, populations, or things within the network. Edges are the relationships or interactions that connect them, and can also sometimes be called ties or links. Overall, a network can be classified as either directional, such as in the, in the spread of disease, where there's a clear directionality to the linkages, or undirectional, so for example in the case of gene flow or social interactions between individuals, where the relationships is an equal exchange. Now that you understand the basics of network analysis, I will give you an example of how to import such data and how to make a simple visual data exploration using Gephi. So this is what the Gephi uh, user interface looks like. So we start by saying new project and we can import our data via file open and then we can select our data file. It has its own kind of set of uh, network uh, file that it can use, but it can also import directly from CSV files. For example, you just say open, it shows you the number of nodes and edges, we say okay, and then we can see the network. Now, when we want to look at nodes in the network in more detail, we can turn on the labels here. This is really complex, so we don't see very much, so it's good to go here to visualizations, labels, and hide non-selected. So now only the part of the network that we select is has the label and we can look at the linkages. This is between linkages between different diseases, but it could also be linkages between genes of different populations, for example. So I hope this will be useful in your data for your exploration. And if you're into it, maybe also some of the analysis.